Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm explaining about setting default font, color and size for new emails in Outlook. So I already opened Outlook here. And when you're composing new email, you can see here, in default, uh, it's Calibri bond. 11 is the font size. And it's gonna be a black color. Um, black is the color for the fonts. So, this of course we can change it, we can make a different color, we can choose a different font. We can change the size as well, but whatever we are doing, it's only for this particular email. So for example, I'm going to choose it 12 and red color. Alright, so I just close this one and I'm composing a new email and I'm going to type something. So everything is came in default here, Calibri bot 11 and black color. So uh, today in this video, what I'm going to show you is how to change the default font and font size and color and everything. So first of all, you will have to uh, click on the file option and scroll below. You will see options, click on the options and you will see on the left side mail option under the channel, click on mail and under the mail, you will see stationary and fonts with the logo like ABC so click on the stationary and fonts so you'll get a new window like this so the personal stationary option email signature we already discussed too, so you can check out other video if you if you want to refer the signature part but today we're gonna cover the personal stationary so you need to make sure that it's personal stationary and we have already already discussed the theme as well so today what we're discussing is changing the default font size. So for new email messages, when you click on the font, you will see here on the right side as a sample text. This is our sample text, what we are using now. But if you click on the font, you can choose a lot of options. Like you can uh, choose the body type, like for example, headings or something. And you can even choose, um, let me, hmm, show this one if i'm going to choose any of the um fonts it will be changing automatically you can see here what is going to change like you have a lot of uh, different different um fonts here whatever you have in your um in your office that will be displayed here and also uh, for a specific font you will also see the font style like uh, uh, this phone will be used on both the printer and screen and here it's you can see here it's italic so you're gonna choose uh, either normal or italic nobody, nobody will go for the italic option so we're gonna choose this one and also the size of the um, uh, phone it's 11 in default you can change it like for example 12 or 10 depending on your requirement and even you can make it 14 but no normally Nobody is going to go more than 14 here and also below 10 because it will be very hard for uh, reading. So uh, I maybe I choose 12 as an ideal uh, option and also the color, of course, it's going to be black. But still, if you want to change it, you can change it to a different color. So for our tutorial books, I'm going to choose red and I don't need an underline. Uh, we can also choose an underline still, for example, um, a bold one like this or uh, a double underline like that and also the underline color. You can make it a different one comparing to the font color and here we have a lot of option like strike through double strike through all, all this stuff you don't need because it's um whenever we need we are going to use that one because superscript subscript it's not always we are using small caps and all caps also this is also not required so you're gonna go with the default options and uh, that's it. In advance, you will see spacing options like scaling, uh, how much is the size of the um, font, for example, uh, the display one, advanced character spacing, a normal expand, you can see the changes are happening over here. And if you make 66 percentage, scale will be limited, the size will be limited to 66 percentage. So we're going to choose 100, which is default, and we can even make it condensed or expanded to make it like expanded or close to each other we're gonna go with the normal and once you choose expanded you can change like normal arised or lowered or like this so i don't want to explain all this stuff because this 
is uh, there's very rare possibility that we're going to use this one all right so we're going to choose normal advanced tab we're going to leave as it is and let's go to the font option for the tutorial books i just choose red because maybe in your case you will go with the automatic or black option in tfont not just uh, choose automatic you can choose either choose automatic or black so that's up to you or even some of them some of the um, centers i have found that they're using uh, a blue um, accent uh, accent one or some of them they are using a dark blue option as well that's it click on ok and click on ok click on ok again so if i'm going to choose new emails and i click here i write something you can see here automatically the underline is coming and the text is uh, red color which is weird you know but but for tutorial books i have to show that one so uh, that's how it works the even if i close this one or for example i change this everything to black and i remove the underline mm, underline everything i did changes and if i in a cross here and open a new email and write something so still it will be the default options so that's how you can change it guys uh, once again i'll show you click on file option options mail and under the mail stationery and phones new mail messages click on font so let's just make it default and underline care none 12 is fine contents is fine click on ok and ok and ok three times so if we are typing now it's going to be a better one but the board is there we can remove it in case so that's fine i use i believe this video was helpful to you Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon for notification. Take care. Goodbye.